There's nothing I love more than a good night's sleep. But something that keeps me up at night is what happens to all the mattresses that we throw away? In fact, Western Australians dispose of around 170,000 mattresses every year into landfill. That's the equivalent of 34 Olympic-sized swimming pools. We're about to meet an inspiring entrepreneur based in Bibra Lake, who's built a business around giving new life to old mattresses. Adam, hello. Hello. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Sydney. I have a series of very simple questions for you. And if I could start with the simplest question of all, why waste? Why waste? Uh, well, I th to be honest, waste is one of those problems that's, for me, totally human created. Whatever we come up with to solve waste, and I've got a whole heap of different thinking around that, will then be really useful for things like climate change or um, entrenched social disadvantage and these sorts of really, really hard problems. That's and I guess that in turn has led to garbology, so yes. go through the thinking there. So the thinking behind garbology is to do what can't really be done um, with the established waste systems, which is large corporates or, or government or councils, um, which are geared around doing things once and doing it right. So it's very risk averse. Um, whereas I, I like to think that the way we'll actually get forward in waste is the way we get forward in every other aspect of the economy, which is to take risks and a whole heap of small risks. Um, with small companies and clearly some of those will fail um, but the idea is uh, garbo behind garbology is to have essentially um, an ecosystem of small enterprises um, some of which fail some of which succeed and the aggregate is that you do uh, far better than you could do as one large company doing one large thing and you've started with mattresses yes exactly started with mattresses because uh, believe it or not it's easy at least it's easy for me this is actually the third mattress recycling enterprise I've started and so I know how it works I know all the, the ins and outs of it we've obviously refined it and made it better um, so it's a quite an easy way of getting runs on the board essentially and that started. very first time when you looked at a mattress and went hey there's an opportunity there yes. can you recall that moment uh, well actually it was it was a funny it was almost the opposite problem it was um, oh my god there's a problem here and this is the way a lot of people approach waste initially uh, and the problem was it takes up a lot of space in the landfill that I was running um, and it was tangled, the springs were tangling around the machine's axles. So I, I was thinking, we've got to do better than this. And then the opportunity emerged, well, how about I just give the guys knives and say, I'll pay you $5 a mattress or whatever I, or whatever the number was back then. Um, I said, just, you work it out and I'll pay you this amount. And they worked it out within about half an hour and I couldn't stop them. <laughs> and I know something you're very passionate about is, I guess, one day having a world where there is no such thing as waste. Exactly. But in some ways that's a contradiction in that a world without waste is a world that wouldn't need an organisation like Garbology. No, that's right. It's, it does seem like a contradiction um, until you reframe the problem and to say waste is just materials that are in the wrong spot at the wrong time. And so what I really see Garbology as is closing the loop on materials as, through, as they're consumed and bringing them back into production. So there's always going to be things that people don't want. But what we want, what what I mean by a world without waste is to say. Let's not let that be wasted. Let's let that become a new material for productive economy. So it's kind of shorthand for saying we add value to materials and reinsert them into the productive economy. World without waste is far more catchy. Definitely. And rolls off the tongue it does. a lot more eloquently. It's beautiful. Well, it's great and inspiring to see what you're doing one mattress at a time. So, Adam, thank you for your time. No worries. Thank you, Sid. Cheers.